banded internal rotations. So for banded internal rotations, you need a TheraBand, or if you're feeling up to it, you can start with a slightly harder band. And what we want to do for this one is, with the band, we're trying to internally rotate at the shoulder. And we want to make sure that the elbow is tucked into the ribs for this one. So a good cue for that is to get a ball or a block even and wedge it in between your elbow and your ribs. Now, for this one, you want to start with a little bit of tension on the band and let the band pull your elbow out to the side a little bit too much and that ball drops away, right? So we want to make sure that you've still got a little bit of tension locking that position in. We get a little bit of a stretch at the end range of your rotation and then we're trying to pull and squeeze across the chest. Then let that band pull just a little bit, squeeze and pull across the chest, making sure to keep tension up against that ball the entire time. Now just like the external band of rotations, uh, the difference between doing this with a dumbbell and doing this with a band is that with a the dumbbell, there's a lot more to focus on, the vertical forces in particular, whereas with the band specifically, we're just working on the horizontal rotation without any other focus. I know, I can see. I just, I know, okay. The, uh, internal banded rotations. I don't know, I just wanted to see how long I could do it for, and then I laughed. <laughs> I really